Hello guys, and uh, I just need to. Um, well, I'm gonna review the the tran these transformers. Um, well, here's Optimus Prime. So yeah, and I'm gonna review Optimus Prime, Sunwave, and Bone Crusher. Um, two of them are from the first one, if you're wondering, and the uh, and Soundwave is from the third one. Nice guy. Uh, I I um I just got these about like a week ago. I got this about a week ago, and um well well yeah, it has two wheels there, and it and um yeah, and I like the fire. It's because I remember when he first gained his vehicle mode. There's the pipes, and then oh let me just turn this here. Well then look at that. Well, let's see if I turn him this way which we viewed him um yeah he suppose he doesn't have any autobot signatures anywhere like well none that i'm aware of basically but um the, i think it's supposed to be here you know where he has his autobot signature in the film well yeah so this is from the first film as i said um during the beginning of the review well um well first now i'm going to transform him Okay, now you simply just flip him over, like, and then, now here he is, he's got that sword there, and there's the, there's the name there, Optimus Prime, I don't think, I thought in the film, when he was first sport, like, are you some James Wookiee, the son of Archibald the Wookiee, like, I thought, like, what the hell, like, what the, who the hell is he, like, I was thinking, and then, um, and then when I saw him in action fighting with Megatron, I knew how, how, um, how, how powerful he was. Because I knew he was a, like, I knew Prime was a bit of a weird word, but I just thought, oh, so yeah, he's upside down, bam. So that's finished. Um, now I'm gonna do a, the review on uh, um, Soundwave. I've. Mm, I always start off in vehicle mode now. Let's see here. So yeah, he has his. I think that there's these little Cybertron readings on here. I like the windows. Like here's some sort of thing on the back. There's a. Mm, there's that light there, and I think that's another window as well. And uh, yeah, there's his wheels. It's not too much to add to it, but. There we are, and um, if you zoom in, he looks really cool. Look, look at this. Do sharp. Okay, well, yeah. So I'm going to show him in vehicle mode. Now you just simply flip him over like that. Now I'll just wait a minute and I'll lift the camera up slightly. And there you have him. He's Soundwave. You can't see him that well, I assure you, but yeah, he has guns and I like him. He has a tank vehicle mode, if you're wondering. And uh, there's his legs. First, I thought this was like Shockwave, because I couldn't read it that well. But, well, um, I've got plenty of time to um, review this thing, so, yeah. So, like, he looks cool, like, douche, douche, douche. I don't know how um most people like wonder like I do like they just I'm guessing they wonder why he in the film that they cra he crashes down to well in the uh third film he crashes down to earth um if people have seen some games on YouTube and I'm going to put this on YouTube but um, in the game, they they do like everything before the big you know assault happened, and I I don't know why that is. It's just a weird thing, you know. It's a multi thing and stuff like to transform this thing, whatever. Okay, that's sound wave. I'm gonna put him there now. I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna have to uh now his bone crusher. Uh, there there is this there's the three windows there's a thingy there they've got the wheels it's the same wheel system and they've got the ladder the two lights then 
the same. Now I'm going to transform him because I'm running out of time again, as I said. So here we are. You just flip this down, and it's like. Then, oops, sorry about that. Sometimes these things fall down. Okay, now let's see here. I'm just going to move the camera up, which I did. Now um, you can see his head there, and um. The, his Decepticon signature is just about above there. And then he's got his arms, he's clenched and angry because he wants to face Optimus Prime. And up, uh, yeah, and he's got his shoulders. Uh, okay, now that that's going to be, have to be it. So, bye bye everybody. Um, This is Oliver Chalmers signing off. Bye bye. Okay, so uh, hello everybody, and um, this is me again. Um, yeah, this is me again because I just decided to do another review very quickly. And well, I'm doing a review on um, Transformers Reveal the Shield Megatron. Uh, I've got the ca I threw the case away, and I've got but I've got a few bits of it. So, but I'm not going to show you the case because that's not what I do. I just review the Transformers because this is. There's his arms, and I'm going to do something with them after I've just, you know, got to the basic bits. And uh, there's his hand with his, you know, gun on there. You've got his head, and you've got his Decepticon signatures there. But, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about that. Um, uh, yeah, there's the uh, dots that I think there's... Uh, I, it, it, this really looks like sound wave, sort of like, and here's his legs. Uh, he doesn't transform really, so like, don't if you're wondering, really. And uh, he has a difference on this leg. You see, like this one doesn't have it. That, this one just has a normal joint, and that one has, you know, some sort of flick. If I just move the camera like this, then there we are. And this time I'm working in light. <sighs> Gratefully, and um, so now I'm gonna do something with him and uh, better. Now, oh, here we are. So, he's Megatron, and he is well, yeah. Now, um, his arms move like you can move them down here, and you can like move them like um, well, I'm, I can't move them up that well, it's because they Reveal the shield things are not too good, but they're really good because it's a cartoon series, I think. But yeah, I'll get some more Transformers toys to review soon enough. But well, yeah, here's his gun, and you could go like shot that, bam, and he's fury to face Optimus Prime. I read the case like uh, he's. He's furious to face to face down every enemy Autobot he seeks. But I I only got to re read that bit on the back really. So yeah, so his head his head folds in like that, and uh, you can push it all the way in. And uh, let me just do something here. Yeah, I'm sorry if you can see my hand. It's a bit boo 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 boo. It's because you know it's a bit it's a bit boo because I was born like it, and I probably didn't tell you in the last video, but yep. So here's his legs. They can go like that, that, or like that. Well, I don't know why I'm speaking like this. I just and then you can rotate them back. You know the same one here, and um, the difference I was talking about as well was. Here, you see, there's this little thing here. If you can see it more really, but and here's this, um, the normal foot, which is mm, there's this hole here. You can see through it. That's cool. <laughs> I guess now. Okay. Um, I can't transform him. Uh, I I don't do really good at transforming big, big guys, because that's why I just get the um little series. So, but I can do this. Basically, he's see. Look at that. I, I when every time he dies, I just you know fold this, and then he goes like that. I'm dead, yo, like that. And then I um like when he gets repaired in the second one of Transformers, I just go 
my and yeah I do use this for videos norm for on like playing the movie. The his Decepticon signature there is um, um, he has loads of cool accessories I would think. Um, it's because like he has his hand here and I'm gonna turn it around and here's his back. He has a beautiful back. I'm just kidding of course he doesn't and um here's his legs, his ball joint, whatever it is. Um, um or Megatron in the in in the games I've seen Megatron well he has like sometimes I, I think he has a good history. Like in the first one I thought like what the like and Sam Witwicky mentions his father found some sort of giant ice man in the in the you know, some sort of robotic giant man in the ice or